Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Dead Cells. I got a little, I mean, the last run went fine. It just uh, kind of fell apart at the end. I got one useful piece of feedback. I probably got many, but I got one that I'm going to apply. Spartan Sandals Ice Bow. I think the Spartan Sandals are actually, like, horrendous. But generally speaking, the pseudo speedrun strats appear to be working. Or they appear that they could work, at the very least. So we're going to continue to do that. We're going to continue to prioritize making those timed doors. But I had a suggestion to roll... Um, oh, thank you. A specific route. And the route is Promenade of the Condemned into the ossuary. And if you hit the timed door on the ossuary, it allows you to get... Two scrolls instead of one. Um, I think having an actual sword is probably worthwhile here. But apart from that, roughly the same strat. It was suggested... I'm gonna try. It was suggested that maybe... Um, we stop rolling brutality as much and, and try tactics some more, which is what I'm thinking right here. And it was also suggested, uh, and I, I also appreciate this because I think it's very helpful for me personally, but uh, enemies burn when they die. More turrets, that's what I want to see. Um, that we... Ooh, ooh. I thought that, that was a, a rune that we could walk through, like, to get the challenge room, but no. Um, what am I trying to say here? Also suggested, we don't really worry about hitting 8,000. <laughs> in any particular skill, or sorry, 8,000 in HP, I should say, but instead focus on, apparently we can break these down. Oh, okay, so I, I just want to point out, when you're giving feedback to people, you know, when people ask, hey, how do you uh, improve your performance in dead cells? And you mention something like, just so you know, you can break down doors so you don't actually have to pay a thousand gold for them. That's a fantastic information to have. Yet at the same time, would it have killed you to mention that it gives me a curse? <laughs> I don't mind learning on the job, and we saved a thousand gold in the process as long as we lived, but... Um, by the way, many other people also suggested take more mutations. Take more mutations. Particularly, a, a very common recommendation was plus 30 HP. Plus 30% HP, I should say. We're going to start with the one that brings you back to life if you die, just in case the curse actually allows that to happen. Um, and we're going to try to rush through things here. It is nice to know, you know, as in any roguelite, it's nice to know every, every tool at your disposal, you know? Um, maybe it wasn't really specifically the right time for us to do something like... Uh, thank you. Accidentally taking a what appears to be a cursed chest to save a thousand gold, but at the same time It's not necessarily a bad thing either So I'm gonna go tactics and the whole reason I'm going tactics is uh, We're one purple away from having a full purple scaling build and Then we can take that purple mutation That allows us to use these uh, with a slower cooldown I think we'd be a happy camper. We only have three more enemies we need to kill. I hate those guys. We have two more enemies we need to kill. Man, our damage is so bad. <laughs> okay, we've lifted the curse. All is forgiven. We can start to relax a little bit. All right. Uh, game plan. Pretty simple. Freeze enemies. Use turrets. Now, the turrets... Admittedly, are going to take for friggin' ever to work here. We also, I should remind myself, we don't need to rush. In fact, more than not needing to rush, we should really, like, just endeavor... Or wait, I've got it exactly wrong. Sorry, I always record these Dead Cells episodes after I've recorded, like... I see you with the scroll there. Um, after I've recorded, like, six other roguelites over the course of the day. And now I'm over here going, like... You know, I've got Isaac on the brain, I got Slay the Spire on the brain, and I'm say saying all the wrong things when it comes to dead cells. Let's go. So right now, my uh, methodology is we should rush. Quite in contrast to what I said earlier. Because we really want to hit that time door on the ossuary. I don't know how long the time door stands around. 
we're going to try to make it there regardless. I don't have particular confidence or lack of confidence in this run. I think uh, pretty much any run in Dead Cells could probably be a victory if you play your cards right. And pretty much any run in Dead Cells could probably be terrible if you play your cards wrong, which I've done a relatively consistent job of. It's weird because it's a series in which I'm... Uh, uh, oh, wait, 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 no, okay, I thought it was a purple sword. I'm gonna try this build, but I don't think it will work. Out of all the roguelites I play, Dead Cells is definitely the one that I'm worst at, which is not much of a surprise when you remember that it's also the one I have the least experience in by far. Hey, stop that. But at the same time, it's also the one for which I catch the least criticism for my poor play. And I think the correlation there is really just that, yeah, again, I'm still relatively new and Dead Cells is pretty hard, at least for now. So, people are mostly being nice and polite and I'm very happy to hear that, but at the same, oh, you fool. At the same time, I want to I wanna earn it, you know what I mean? I don't want people to be saying, uh, you know, good job, sweetheart, you did your best. I want to be winning some runs here and feeling like I'm starting to get some confidence. But the number one thing that's come up from a lot of people is that the castle is just that difficult. You know, it's a step up in terms of difficulty. Extra damage on a burning target, we will absolutely take that. So we got a, a little bit of a synergy going on here. The ice bow essentially does very little for us now. And our next uh, pickup for mutations will definitely be reduced cool time. Or cooldown, I should say. So we got two that do extra damage against a, a burning target right now. At least they get slowed, but eh, it's not really good enough right now. Just keep it up here. Dude, we got some speed. But yeah, the castle apparently by most people's standards, just really is that much of a step up in difficulty, so... You know, you know what you have to do in a step up situation, if you've ever seen the movies, you gotta take them to the streets. So that'll be the next step, and I have no idea what that entails within the context of Dead Cells. I'm not much of a dancer as well, so I'm not sure, uh, you know, really you would trust me to step up to the streets of the best at times, but... Hmm... Don't really want to break that or pick up the cells. <laughs> okay, Prison Depths, I've been told, kind of stink. They have one scroll, which is nice. And it gives you access to the ossuary. Ooh, these are tempting. We might as well take one to sell. The damage on it can be amazing, but we're not focusing on bleed right now. We're focusing on burning for like the 500th time in a row. Um... What was I going to say? I was going to say, uh, so in the end, it might be worth a decent amount of scrolls. Ossuary? 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 This is old sewers, isn't it? Or is this ossuary? This is ossuary. I see the redness. Yeah, let's go. Um, I'm not sure if we made the door, but we'll see. But, uh, yeah, you get two scrolls just for making it to the time door here. So this might be like a bit of a happy medium. That's my, my hope and dream, at least. I don't think Gastronomy seems particularly strong, but we're going to consider it. Ah, they do scale, because normally this starts at 50, or sorry, 43% cooldown delay, so... It's nice to know that it does scale as time goes on, so we could probably take that plus 30% HP one and be happy with it right off the bat. Alright. Time to door, please. Oh, dude, we made it with bells on. Extra two minutes here. 28 scrolls, sorry, 28 cells. 28 scrolls would be pretty sick, though. You gotta admit. Hunter's Longbow, and then give me one level. I know we're getting a bunch of value out of Brutality, but... Kinda liking this blue-green strat right now. Plus, we're about to get the HP mutation. I think it's, uh... From what people have told me... There's multiple strats that you can run. Like, one of the things that people suggested to me is that what's valuable is actually having uh, 20 levels 
in whatever you want your primary stat to be. I don't know how the heck we'd get to 20 levels, even if we put like every scroll. Oh, absolutely. Even if we put every scroll into a, a primary trait, I don't see that happening as much as I would like it to. But maybe that's part of the problem, is that I'm thinking, you know, there's only one way to, you know, eat a Reese's. That's not what the commercial says. The commercial says something to the effect of there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. Well, there's probably a wrong way to structure a Dead Cells run in my estimation, but... We don't need to worry about that. All we need to worry about is the, the myriad right ways. So I'm going to shoot for a decent amount of HP. I'm going to split purple-green right now, and then stack damage reduction, if at all possible. So a flaming turret is really good, except for the fact that it is times two minus two, or times two damage received, times two damage dealt. Much less interested in taking that than you might expect. Even though a, a burning turret is actually really useful for us. Continue moving along here. I should say, you know, thank you for all the kind words people have been saying about Dead Cells. It's probably it's one of the series that people are the most positive about right now, without a doubt. You know, channel's in a pretty good place. People are liking most of what they're seeing, but uh, definitely Dead Cells, I think, gets more than its fair share of praise, which I'm not complaining about. Always. I go down here, I get 1,300 gold. Incredible. Excuse me. Now, our, I'm starting to remember the timed doors here. We want to beat the unfinished one by 17 minutes. So we got plenty of time to do a little exploration here. I do see the rune there. We might want to try it. Is time paused when you're in the rune? I hope so. I will also say that, uh, you know, we got plenty of time to make that happen. The unfinished one has not proven too difficult recently. Another tip I got was that, uh, apparently some enemies do scale with your stats. Dude, vampirism is just... I don't know. Maybe it's good, but I have not found that to be the case. Apparently, like, like some enemies or bosses, uh... Scale? I will try this, even though it's dangerous. Because we have kind of a set it and forget it style here. Grab this. I'm actually gonna put this one into brutality. Colorless. Toxic Cloud, Shot, Pierce, you take extra damage. As soon as I see you take extra damage, I'm no longer interested. But I thought about, uh, I thought it was worth it just to get one level in Brutality that we might otherwise ignore forever. That felt right. Okay. I'm very scared of going down that way because it might be difficult enemies. I do think I'm starting to get a feel for the language in the game. You know, for what we should do at any given moment. And it's not automatic. Not even close. God, I hate this guy. That almost got me. I actually jumped in my chair a little bit. <laughs> Whoo, a little scary. Lucky us. Heavy turret does a lot of damage. Five enemies to go. It's a bad place for us to be right now. Oh, I think we killed the one at the back, though. Fantastic. Light him on fire. Let the heavy turret do, do what it does. Three enemies left. And these curse chests are, like, as much uh, of an indication when we succeed, as much of an indication of how our run is going as they are like a, a value for me from a static sense to begin with. All right, kind of hate you. Just light them on fire, run away. One enemy remaining, please. Please, heavy turret lord, I beg you. Biters, have you done it? Let's go. Curse lifted, feeling good. What are we doing with green instead of red? Dude, I don't freaking know, okay? It just, it felt like the moment was right. For us to try some greenies. 
I don't know, maybe we'll get a shield later and we decide that that's worth something. For now, like, why you, why you on my back, okay? I'm doing my darndest. I'm trying. Okay, we found our exit. It's actually really nice because now we can spend, you know, as much time here as we think is prudent before leaving. And uh, probably as long as we did survive the boss fight, we have a really good chance to... Oh, my lord. As long as we survive the boss fight, we got a pretty good chance at... Hitting this timed door, I think. The problem with uh, going green instead of red is that it does make it a little harder to pivot. Like, if we wanted to dump our uh, our purple weapons... Wow, you did not get frozen. If we wanted to dump our purple weapons, it's not going to be as easy as we might otherwise like. of a whiff because you know the the green weapons I'm not saying they don't exist but they tend to not do as much damage as the uh, the purple and red do I mean red tends to do the most right I don't know why I always feel it's like you see the rune you feel compelled to go for it. that was a big Mistake there. We certainly, like, don't get freaked out. We don't need five minutes to fight this boss most of the time. Just be shrewd. Play your cards right. You got 30,000 gold. You're loving life right now. You already hit a gold level. Gives you everything you need. I would check the map and make sure, like, you're not missing anything. Scrolls, treasure rooms. Anything along those lines with some relevancy. Does anyone else have the same thing in Dead Cells I have, which is, like... I feel like a guilt when I'm skipping enemies. I'm still getting over it, but I'm I'm trying my darndest for real. Is that a scroll up there? No. It really just doesn't feel right for me to skip as many enemies as I skip, but I, I can't deny that it... If there's like a... I, I don't want to call it an imbalance, because I think that's, you know, insulting to the developers. But it feels like you're better off skipping combat in the early game as opposed to fighting. Like, the rewards you get for fighting are so low. It almost feels like there's supposed to be an experience mechanic or something like that that was scrubbed from the game. So it seems like doubtlessly like this is the right call for us to make. But I'm still getting over it. I'm trying. Apparently, a knockout uh, shield is a very tempting item. It's been suggested that this is very good and I'm willing to give it a shot also shoots out some arrows to be fair we weren't really in the interest of using our uh... maybe we were not really in the interest of using our ice bow most of the time anyway kinda like anti-synergistic with what we were rolling with this is probably the end of the floor for us That did not work right. <laughs> uh, maybe because I used the wrong weapon. Um, wait, wait, wait. There's a way up. Or there's a way out here somewhere. There we go. Just heal up. There's no reason to, like, risk death. Hey. We're starting to get to the point where, like, one scroll can make a big difference. Burning? Extra damage on a burning target. Dude, I love doing extra damage on a burning target. 161 damage per second. 5.8 seconds research. Nah. I think we dump it. Honestly. It is a heavy grenade 5 plus, though. So it's gonna deal, it's gonna deal 500 damage. In burst. It's tough. Like, I think grenades are probably still pretty amazing. We were using them for a long time almost exclusively. Let's get the heck out of town real quick. But, I don't know. The... I like the AoE. Obviously, it doesn't hit aerial enemies as easily when you're using the meat grinder, but I, I like the way that this looks right now. I find it hard to say no to it. So, we'll be able to get Gastronomy. We might as well check out, like, Alchemic Pistol. Not extra damage on a burning unit, so... 
I'm gonna say no to that for now. And you know what? Give me the, uh, give me 30% increased health. Hopefully scaling forever. So I have a strat, believe it or not. I have a, I have a strat for fighting this guy. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna light him on, on fire, I'm gonna throw my skills, I'm gonna stand in the fire, then I'm gonna stun him. Light him on fire, throw my skills. Stun him. I don't know if I'm a genius. This, this strategy was suggested to me on Twitter. And it's, it's really just doing an incredible job here. Okay, not a good attack to block. He's already like basically dead though. He has like no stun animation, which is funny, but dude, that was very easy. Now the problem, as I see it right now, is uh, how the heck are we going to make up for the fact that we're going to take a decent amount of damage? We're going to take 25 damage on a block, right? Like, on a parry is one thing. We're going to take 25% of the enemy's attack on each block right now. Just something I'd prefer not to. Pretty smooth run so far, though. So what are we rolling on purple? Rolling fire brands. Which are already upgraded. So we are we're looking for actually, you know what? Go for shields, dude. Why not go for the shields that you're already using? We're using a knockout shield. Unavailable. <laughs> Alright, we'll try an assault shield. Causes you to charge forward while blocking. I don't know, the stun is like pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll dump this and just take the gold. But I'm not disappointed. We're going to continue to skip the Slumbering Sanctuary with the knowledge that if we go to the Forgotten Sepul... Well, first off, we're going to get the uh, the door here, which is going to be worth some scrolls. But then if we go to the Forgotten Sepulcher, we can get some more scrolls, or we can skip that and try for the slightly easier path. Yeah, we don't want to handle things like that. We definitely, more or less, have to throw our uh, our abilities in here. So we got one more scroll. Still going for, like, minimum cooldown. I don't know. I kind of feel like I want the scroll, to be honest. Like, the, the time door on the next floor. Not smart. Not smart. I don't necessarily want to skip through everything here. But if you're twisting my arm, I'll, I'll do my best. You know, I'm kind of... Well, I guess we have a good reason to use a shield here. We do have 20% damage reduction, don't we? I haven't really paid that as much mind as I should have, probably. From that shield. Yeah, all damage taken minus 20%. That's pretty good. I think. Okay, now that I'm actually, like, paying attention, this build seems to have something going for it. We have a rapier and a grenade. Extra damage on a burning target, but it seems, like, extremely weak. I don't know if the inf infantry grenade is intending to be worth more than that, but it seems pretty terrible right now. All right. Even as that enemy lunged at me, he ran into trouble. Last week, uh, I heard he messed around and got a triple-double, and he was freaking buddies every way like MJ. I can't believe today was a good day. So don't be afraid to toss a little... Oh, I love having an elite up here. Don't be afraid to toss a little... Uh, a little extra damage in there. Toss a... Oh, it freezes enemies when you parry. Absorbs 85% damage. All damage taken minus 15%. I don't think this is as good. 20, I mean, that 5% could actually make a pretty big difference, I think. Um, get dumped on. 
What am I trying to say? What I was gonna say is don't be afraid to throw a little block in there on occasion. I guess he doesn't get stunned because he's ranged, but... The block could be worth it, you know? Just stand in there. Sure, maybe you end up taking a, a very modest amount of damage as a result of getting hit, but by stunning them, it's probably worth it in the end. I have to imagine, at least. So I believe our next time door, if there even is one, is like, uh... 22 minutes? As a result, I feel like we're pretty well equipped to make that happen. I also think that I might be an idiot, and there might be treasure up here. Oh, didn't even see that one. I'm also realizing, at some point, we probably don't need any more cooldown reduction. You know, like, we've just, we've got enough. Apparently there's, oh, not smart. Apparently there's a blueprint if we don't use our key here, but I'm just, I'm committed to the, the victory. Like, you know what I mean? We, we, if we had grenades, fire grenades, stuff like that, I totally get it. But right now, I don't necessarily think we really benefit from having zero cooldown. The extra damage is nice, but we might find it advisable. To maybe stack in two primary categories, or maybe one primary and one secondary, which is the way things look right now. I mean, obviously we want our other key here. I think I'm content to try the Forgotten Sepulcher, even though it tends to be more difficult. Truth be told, I don't even remember what the other way is. Is it the clock tower? Might be the clock tower. Hey, you fool. Starting to get better about not making that mistake, but yeah, you don't need to go that way. So this is probably the other way forward for us. So I actually don't even think we need to check this yet. Um, just make sure you're going up here. Definitely do not want to... Oh my god! Dude, you are still being pretty annoying. We suck against flying enemies. Scrolls? No scrolls? No scrolls? Okay. Uh, a scroll is a guy that thinks it's fly, also known as a stat up. So if I remember correctly, we haven't spent too much time in Biterville. Usually we're a little tight on time. And very happy to be leaving the floors. Ah. Uh... I'm willing to give it a shot. I think we have such a set it and forget it style. And every time I get a curse chest, I'm tossing it into whatever gives us more HP moving forward. <laughs> so let's heal up, even though there's something psychological about healing up to full in a situation like this. I just wanted to remember what kind of enemies were out there. Okay. I don't know if those biters count. I think they do. Apparently they do. You know what? This guy deserves to die. Five enemies to go. Okay, four enemies to go. Let's try low, maybe? Nah, it's not gonna help us too much. Three enemies to go. Oh, hello. That would be bad. I'm making sure... I do the dive attack. Because if we don't do the dive attack, we could be stunned when we hit the ground. Curse lifted. All of a sudden, we're free to live our lives again. Ooh. 
Alright, was it worth it? I don't know, because by slowing down so much, we might be screwed out of getting the timed door. I'm not sure. So it's either Forgotten Sepulchre or Clock Tower. I think we go to the Forgotten Sepulchre because we know that there's a timed door there. So I'm a fool and should be running in that direction. Did we go in here? We must have, right? We did. The door's broken. So we got like a minute and a little bit to make it. I think. Let's give it a try. Still a little bit of a pipe dream. Oh wait, we already used our key, so we're forced to go to the clock tower, you fool. Does the clock tower have a timed door? Could we find it in like 30 seconds? I think conceivably, it's not inconceivable. Stop. Okay, well we know there's a lot of scrolls here too. So I, I would, no matter what happens now, I'd say this has been a successful run, but hear me out here. Clock, tower, timed door, dead cells, clock tower. There is no timed door here. That's great news. Forty-four cells. Let's try the hunter's longbow. See what we get. You can refresh the contents of a price for a complete or the shop for a completely reasonable price. So let's spend it. Grenade allows you to hunt for rare blueprints more easily. I have no idea. Um, give me something like that. What do you got for me? Extra damage on a critical hit. I don't know. The fire brands are so useful right now for enabling all of our elemental synergies. So on the clock tower, we don't have to rush. All we have to do is take as little damage as possible. Any chance we hit 20 in technique? Uh, no. Probably not, at least. We need nine scrolls, which is like... close to half of what we've gotten in the entire game so far, but... I suppose you never know. Now, truth be told... I can't roll through that. Truth be told, uh, I have not found... The clock tower to be as difficult as the other floors. Most of the time that I've gone through them. We're not necessarily... Okay, you might as well get the gold. Like, let's not be ridiculous. I don't know if that's going to hold true here. Because usually what happens is we have, like, a brutality build. And we just run into enemies and kind of face roll them. And this time we've got something that I would describe as a more balanced build. I got very afraid there. I'm kind of happy to have a shield, honestly. I know we're tanking damage, but it seems like productively tanking damage. Not necessarily completely idiotic, as I thought it was. You know, the the idiot brain inside of you just goes, why would I deliberately take damage? And I don't know, the idiot brain might be smarter than I'm giving it credit for right now, but... For right now, it seems like it's doing its job. That's all you could really ask, right? Thank you. We're also doing this with like... I was gonna say that's gonna hurt. Not as much as that did though. Um, we're also doing this with pretty low level equipment. Which always feels nice. A ceiling turret does extra damage on a burning target. I think that's where we say goodbye to our meat grinder. And did we miss anything? Not that I can see. So, as if on cue, I mention bad equipment, or equipment that at the very least could be improved, and all of a sudden we find ourselves feeling a lot better with what we got going on. I parried completely by accident. <laughs> Never let anybody tell you NL parries on purpose. I don't want people to think I'm soft like that. 
So the one thing I think this run could really use is a uh, please is a uh, a purple scaling primary. And we already have that, if you want to get technical. But it's not really a fantastic damage dealer. It's good for enabling our, our turrets. But apart from that, it leaves a little bit to be desired. Uh, I think we got delay there. Like, audio delay? The other thing is, you don't have to take damage with the shields. You could actually learn to parry, but let's not be ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so I'm being very stupid and hesitant to use my second heal here. I don't think it's a very smart idea. I think you might as well use them when you need them. Where are we going here? Uh, give me a little extra health, please. And by a little, I actually mean quite a lot. Up in that 5,000 region? Loving that piercing shot. Um, what happened? He was, like, bouncing up in the air. I don't know. I don't feel bad. I feel, like, somewhat confident. Now, you get... I thought they gave me access to the next key. Hello. Hello. We have a little bit more left to do here. We could leave for the boss fight, but I would find that not the greatest suggestion. Have you beaten Delirium as the lost? Yes. What? <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm pretty good at video games, but you wouldn't know it from watching this series right here. I played The Binding of Isaac tonight. Yeah. And I had a very good run as Eden. First time went to Delirium, got my ass kicked. Yeah, Delirium uh, basically sucks, in my opinion. It's no fun. It's, I think it should give out a lot more items in order to justify like how difficult it is. And then they cheat. Like the the fact that, uh, we're talking about Isaac, by the way, if you, in case you want to mute the microphone for a while. Um, oh, we needed the clock tower key to get there for the blueprint. Um, the Chaos card doesn't work against uh, the Void, so it doesn't kill him instantly. It does do damage, but like, you know, you would expect if you hold on to a Chaos card for like the entire game, in that unlikely chance, you should at least be able to get the free Delirium kill, but nah, it just does a little damage, so. You can't even really cheese Delirium. Not too much, anyway. Delirium is not that much fun. But I still fight him on occasion. Or, yeah. Really, at this point, I don't know. I, I continue to go for the damage from the shield. Even though in my brain, I'm like, can't be worth that much. We are at 6,000 HP. That was exactly the wrong way to handle that. Yeah, heal up. You're being a fool. Still, we have a little... Oh, God. A little healing left to go. And I think we're basically at the end of the floor. Um, an oil grenade. No, a flashbang is actually tempting if uh, we were rolling a different style of build. I'm, like, begging you for more scrolls here. I know you got some hidden somewhere. We just haven't had enough to justify an entire run's existence. So that was the best I've ever felt in Dead Cells. I parried by accident. <laughs> hey, okay, wait, 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 wait. We might want to take something that's not Firebrand. Even Fire Torrent feels a lot better. 56 damage a second versus 1,000 damage a second. We did have flammable oil, but we need a way to enable the fire, is the thing. 
So get me out of here, dude. There was a teleporter back there, but please don't remind me. Alright, so we have one... More... Oh, we have a couple more avenues? We can't go that way. There's another path up this way. I feel understated. I also feel like now that I look at my stats... I do feel kind of like I made a what could be a major mistake. Our technique and brutality stats are way too close together for my liking. Now, I wouldn't say that means anything, you know, we don't need to worry too, too much just yet, but... Probably a good idea. Hello? Where? Oh, no, that's not you. I don't know. Uh... I want to fight an elite, honestly, because we could get a, an amulet that stacks damage reduction. There he is. Yeah, that went pretty well. <laughs> no damage reduction, but it's still better. We get survival and tactics plus one. Um, I don't know. I'd like to get a little bit more purple to keep things in balance here, but maybe it's not as bad as it looks. Maybe this is the kind of run where that's conducive to our success somehow. And to be honest with you, I think we got a pretty darn solid uh, purple primary. Not quite as much damage as a sword or something like that, I'm sure. Uh, don't make me laugh. Not quite as much damage as a sword or something like that, I'm sure, but... Uh Not feeling too bad. Yeah, sh maybe I should just take the... Uh the chest that forces me to take no damage against the boss. Um, and then kill nine enemies afterwards without taking a hit. That seems like a really good use of my time. Alright. Well, I certainly would never suggest that I think this run is like the best... A man could get, you know, uh, Gillette style. Let's save the rest of ours. Just There we go. But maybe that's what makes it so good, is that I certainly have not put on any aspersions about this being, like, a, a super winnable run or anything like that. There you go. Yo, we can shield that attack. Okay. It actually calls for, like, a fundamental difference in the way we approach it still makes sense to me to not want to get hit by it but if we can block it which we still failed at doing every single time but if we can do it sign me up dude so far so good by the way heal up immediately go ahead and hit me like the turret is doing so much damage Let's go! That was not that bad. Alright. For the one millionth time in your life, please God, you fool. You absolute idiot and madman. You should get something here. What are we, what are we using again? Fire Torrent? We've probably already upgraded Fire Torrent. Yeah. Well, we could go for a better shield. We're still using that knockout shield? Still using this knockout shield. Which I think is okay. It seems to be working all right, but maybe a, what about a spike shield for some extra damage? Now that we've got decent green, can't do it. You know why we can't do it? Doesn't block. There we go. We finally gave him the blueprint. It doesn't give damage reduction. So it turns out, by the way, we totally could have gotten twenty in our primary stat. <laughs> Easily. But now we gotta say, like, big ups. This is a successful run and I'm a happy man. What, regardless of what happens here. It's a tough thing to get used to. I gotta remember. Absolutely. You're always, 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 always going to throw your abilities. If you don't throw your abilities, you're wasting your life. This guy is a scroll. Holy crap. So we'll continue to level up the one that we're embarrassed is so leveled up to begin with. I think you should even throw your abilities before you enable them. Because the fire torrent takes a second to charge up. 
And then I immediately did not follow my own advice. It's good enough. His attack animation kept him up there. That's hilarious. It, when our turret gets hit, it goes into slow-mo. I think that's what's happening. That makes me think my game is breaking. Alright, all things considered. Remember, we have an elite fight here, right? Is this an it's elite hedgehog? Alright, that seemed okay. <laughs> More of that, please. Dude, could this be the one? By the way. No, no tornadoes. No tornadoes. I'm not suggesting this is going to be the run where we're going to beat the game. Merely, this might be a run where we're able to get past the castle. Or at least figure out what's going on on the castle. Okay, we made it through a section. We've used one heal. But we've made it through a section. You got him. You got him. That's beautiful. Okay. Ooh. And you really, like, cannot take a break for a second. Yep. Should have shielded. Should have shielded. You don't need to fight those guys. Is it a better fire torn? It is. It is. I think it's worth it. At this point, like, we're trying so hard for survival, we might as well. Damage plus 100%. Sure, but it doesn't do any damage reduction. Might be relevant, but for now, not extra damage against burning targets. We've got to move on. I don't know how many castle keys you need. I assume it's like it corresponds to the number of doors. Well, I mean, it obviously, it corresponds to the number of locked doors. What I mean is, I think it corresponds to the number of, you know, like red door, blue door, etc., etc. You will never get here. Dude, we're not doing too badly. Right now, I'm choosing my targets. That dude jumped. I think he's dead. Or at least out of my hair. Whatever's left of it. Um, okay, keep it up. So far, I would... Describe myself as a relatively happy man. I understand the value of that item. Uh, it's a ranged purple weapon, but it doesn't enable our other synergies, so I think we have to say no to it as much as it's kind of interesting. No biters, please? Hey. Hunter's Longbow. Inflicts a critical blow if you strike from far away. And not what we need right now, but on a future run, who knows what uh, beauty might be in store. Oh, hello. I think I'm going to enter this room. And it's the real thing we're on a lookout for. Oh, hello. Is uh, we got to get to this elite. We are starting to get a little light on HP. I love that. So we got our elite fight. This is the worst. Just dodge. Okay. That guy might be the worst of all the enemies. 
So I don't really mind our performance there. Let's go. Let's continue to go. Okay, you know what? Bring the, the whole family along as far as I'm concerned. Oh. Now, can I have no more infection, please? Also, I just want to, you know, again, not being a Mr. Negative. Or Mr. Polaroid, for that matter. Um, could you provide me, perchance, with a scroll for my troubles on this floor? Oh, hey, well, you know what? <laughs> That's what I get for complaining. Give me some extra damage on violet equipment, or as uh, human beings call it, purple. And uh, we've done blue door, we've done green door. I do see that equipment up there. But I'm kind of interested in getting the heck out of town. A red door. Closing in on that surprising 20 mark. And actually, there are those who said it couldn't be done, myself included, dare I point out. Help. Dare I point out, we got almost 8,000 HP. We got a couple of assassins. They don't burn. We learned that last time. Let's go. Let's go, dude. It's our third castle key. Do you think there is a world on planet Earth as benevolent as the one it would need to be for us to only need three keys to get to the boss? I'm hopeful the answer is yes, but I'm not holding my breath. We also haven't really used that much HP, like from a healing standpoint. We still have two heals remaining. Wow, that was so stupid. I took that damage. Because I wanted to pick up this gold. It's just like a, an actual idiotic decision. See you later. I just heard an explosion. I'm gonna believe that that's you. Let's take a look at the map. No idea where we exit. Why are we doing crits? Inflicts a critical blow if the victim is covered in oil. Hmm. What is covering enemies in oil? <laughs> I have no idea, but we are getting crits, okay? Maybe they're just covered with oil by default. Dare we? Oh, we dare. Quick bow. It's pretty solid, but... Scrap it. Scrap it. Hey, we're leaving. How the heck are we going to get to that boomerang? Run across? We have one heal left. Okay. Well, I feel dumb, but like my wall run didn't seem to be working there. Maybe you can't wall run on a spiked wall. I don't know. I was trying to get to that, but really at this point, I think we just got to say, Hey, game, you've given me a chance. And I, I can't appreciate it enough. Thank you so much. I have no idea how this run's going to work. Now that I've done the castle, I feel like I sort of have a bit more understanding of how it could work in the future. And I'm excited because now I understand how the game goes. Because I believe that the throne room is our final boss. Now, I have never seen you before, to the best of my knowledge. The Hand of the King. Tyrion Lannister, huh? What do you do? And how do you do? Nice to see you, finally. Try getting, like, any fire on this enemy.
There you go. Now you're dealing more damage. He's ascended to phase two. And we're very happy to have a ceiling turret. Please. He's still alive! We need to heal. We're dead. We're alive. We still need to heal. Our mutation brought us back. I'm assuming those are going to be enemies if they get brought back or something, so... We need to heal again. And this guy's tanky as heck. His range! Okay, it would have been a sick parry if we didn't get dropped on the ground. <laughs> Okay, it's a lot of enemies. None of them are hitting me yet. Oh, wait, never mind. It's this sorcerer lord up here is doing a ton of nasty work. I'm mad. I'm mad because we could have taken him. But, dude, I'm happy we made it to the boss. That felt great. Momentum in Dead Cells. Who would have thought? Hey, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps us a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.